Hey guys, Jeff the Maintenance Man. Out with the old. And with the new. Um, got a new key machine. So, I'm going home. So, I figured I'd make this review. Put this on the charger. Turn it off so I don't get interrupted. Probably still will because there's other people that leave this stuff on there. Alright, let's just make a key. This is going to be a very short video. Um make a random key and the key I want to make right here is because I have a lock that goes to and we're gonna just gonna make sure everything's calibrated for this machine um, uh, where am I well, where's it I don't know where I put the test test cylinder at doggone it all right anyway we'll do it we'll do a different one because I know I got another one here somewhere I don't know where I put that other cylinder at that that key goes to, but I know another one that has a key that goes to it. Yeah, we'll see. Hopefully this, hopefully this works. All right. What is that? It's a D6. I'm gonna put it in here. This key machine, man. Wow. You you gotta have it off every time you burn a key. It, you just saw like. You put it here. This is my review of this machine, basically, guys. You're here, and you're you're cutting a bunch of keys, and this thing is on. I mean, it makes enough noise to let you know, but good God, man. Look at that blade. Um, this should, if you are going to do that when it's on, you, you're going to have to have this all the way back, away from that blade, away from that blade. So if you're gonna have it on and you put the key blank in, just make sure your fingers are away from that that sucker. That's that's a limb taker right there, as you can see. Anyway, you got a little. I call this the bitch clip. This is to make sure that your key is lined up here. Your key is lined up here for cutting, and you can flick them out of the way, and then you just come up. I don't know how much of this y'all can actually see, but come up and you're focusing on this key and you can just keep it. And this thing just cuts them so nicely too. This is... There we go. And then there's a brush over here. Your brush here all right so you can do the other side too if you so so please just keep your finger away from that freaking thing holy crap anyway so we've made our key and uh, we're gonna put it in the uh, lock here and see if it works like butter like freaking butter that's awesome um so yeah, that, that key machine works very well. Um, the other one, you kind of snap this handle and you just release this thing and it would pop up and the key would follow and you would pull back like this and it make the key and then you go click like this and let down the thing and get your blade out and I mean get your key out, keeping your hands away from the blade obviously. And uh, but I like this one. We can do car keys on this thing and. Uh, um yeah you do have to do it manually i don't i don't mind because once you get in the habit of just lifting this up and applying a small amount of pressure on this handle forward you can just pull pull along the key and the key will be made for you and it's got a little i call it a bitch clip i don't know why i do that but um it's like you if you had two keys and you didn't know if they were lined up the reason I call this a bitch clip, I'll go over that real quick. Because if you have two keys in here, and you go like this, locksmiths are going to cuss me out for doing a video like this. But, now, okay, you know that the keys are aligned, right? But once you bring this up here, if you're here, and the blade's not at the same spot, then you're probably off. But to be totally precise with it, I love this 
uh, clip actually because it's like this and then all right get out of the way and then you make the key and cut the key and that's it so um, yeah our new key machine um, I don't mind it good job mr. Tim um, I like it it's just it's getting used to um, definitely gonna keep my fingers out of the way a little calibrator here whoa that's very sensitive actually I don't know okay what I don't like messing with the calibration because that's your depth on the key cut yeah but uh hmm you got a little tray a little tray right here that uh um empties out your uh it's kind of locked in there somehow there we go and uh, your brass shavings and all not too bad master switch and your power switch so not a bad little gizmo there good job tim um i like it jeff the man's man i gotta go home it's the end of my day uh, i've already clocked out i just want to do a quick review on this uh key machine and uh we did it i think and uh y'all have a great day thanks for watching my videos please like and comment and subscribe and fiddle around with my bell up there if you want um i really appreciate it from all you guys it's jeff the maintenance man y'all have a great day